Hey, what is up guys? So I got two really funny quick replays to share with you guys and anyways the first one is one of the unluckiest duelists I've seen in a while and uh, anyways his opponent's playing some ancient gears he goes for a 4400 attacker turn one the guy's like ah fine slam punter I uh, can get rid of this card real easy um, so he goes ahead and activates effect rolls a six okay try again okay I rolled a six okay let me try one more time rolls a six okay let me try it last time get he gets another six <laughs> dude he tried to summon Santa Claus over in this duel, man. But, uh, dude, how, how do you get that unlucky? For those of you guys that don't know, it's an older card. But Sniper Hunter has the effect where you can discard a card and target out one card on the field, and you roll a six-sided dice, and as long as it's not a one or a six, you get to destroy it. But you rolled six four times in a row. How unlucky is that? I feel bad for that guy, but Zerberus and uh, Popo Rob, man, that was, that was hilarious. But we got another one. Uh, this one, this guy makes a broken field and he gets wrecked, dude. It, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so guy in the back, he goes for the Swords of Revealing Light famous anime card. Actually, it was a really decent card back in the day. This card was like, I hated this card, man. It was so annoying. It just lasted too long because back in the day, guys, MST was at one. That was kind of how you got rid of stuff before Breaker and all these other cards came out. But anyways, he's going to be going off. This guy, Dusex over here, going to be making an amazing board. And uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, maybe make a Quasar, maybe make some uh, other cards. But anyways... He goes ahead and decides to go for some draw power of Librarian. He's going to go ahead and level E off of Quick Draw. And then he's going to go ahead and make a Jet War. He's going to go ahead and bounce back the monster because he might be looking to go for game Marshmallow. Over there technically would have prevented him from making a game. Unless, of course, Marshmallow uh, is going to be using that effect. Which, of course, it is uh, actually mandatory. I don't think you can actually decide. But uh, anyways, so uh, he goes ahead and makes a Cosmic Blazar dragon goes for that uh, really good card and then he's going to continue to go off he's like you know what i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to make another one and i'm like okay where, where is it is this going to make is he just going to go for triple and then his opponent's going to do nothing and it's going to be game because he's got you know i uh, know multiple like boss monsters out on the field and anyways he's going to keep on going he's he's going for that draw power and uh you know he's got the lure of darkness so he continue he's already made three cosmic blazar dragons uh, really, really strong field right now. This is what I would consider like a broken, like OP field. He's like, you know, what? it's your turn. He activated into the void, so he's got to go ahead and get rid of his cards. Uh, he's just gonna go ahead and activate chambers. It's fine. You know, he's got the cosmic blazer negated. He's gonna go ahead and have another one out on board. He decides to put one of them in defense mode. Decides, you know, I can't attack because swords are really light. It's gonna prevent me from attacking. We got the fencing ferret. Gonna try to uh, get rid of a card, but cosmic blazer dragon is there to again prevent that. He's going to go ahead and go into attack position, and uh, he's ready to go ahead and go for game. Reflect Bounder is then summoned, and he's like, yo, <laughs> can't have that there. He's going to go ahead and get rid of it. He activates Upstar Goblin, draws into Dark World Dealings, and uh, gets rid of a card. He's like, yo, I want to go for game. He attacks into it, and it's a Marshmallow, and he's going to go ahead and negate that. And then he's going to attack again, and then he attacks again, and he attacks with Level Eater, and he done goofed this poor guy, Zerberus. You done goofed, man. He actually took cards. He's negated, but it doesn't matter because he didn't. He needed the other level eater in attack position to make it game because Upstar Goblin gave his opponent the extra thousand, and he had the other level eater in attack position. Why wasn't this one there, man? Are you afraid of Mirror Force, dude? Swords are really like too good. Guy makes broken field and gets wrecked because. <laughs> He decked himself out over there. He, at the very end, guys, you saw, he activated Dark World Dealings, and he, he just couldn't math the, the, the attack from the game, man. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, great, great plays, man. But thanks for sending me those replays, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing those crazy uh, duels. Uh, just unlucky duelist, and then the guy done goof, man. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that vid. If you did, make sure you guys get a like button, a slap burrito for the fidget spinner, and hit that subscribe button for more fidget spinner videos.